This video is for the unvaccinated foreigners who wanted to come to the Philippines to see their loved ones or to just have a vacation. We're here in Cebu City after a very long wait and this is our fifth day of quarantine. Just an hour ago, a lady came over in our room to do the RT-PCR test and the result will be tomorrow. I know there's not many videos out there about the unvaccinated um, tourists who come over to the Philippines. That, that's the reason why I decided to share our story because I was one of the one of you guys who keep looking on YouTube about the unvaccinated because it's it's a big risk but when you get denied you know it's it's very expensive yeah I'll just share to you what are the requirements upon boarding so before you book your ticket you have to well, I already I can testify that Cebu Mactan Airport they do accept foreigners, so you can just book your ticket. We book through Singapore Airlines from Auckland, New Zealand. We we traveled with Air New Zealand because it's their partners with um, Singapore Airlines. So from Auckland to Singapore, we have a layover in there for. Four, four to five hours and then from Singapore there is a stopover in Davao City for 50 minutes so we disembarked the aircraft and then we went back to come over here to Cebu so the total hours was 20 uh, 21 hours and, and and 50 minutes yeah it's 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 really tiring you know it's a very long long trip so yeah we just make use of this quarantine to relax and yeah just relax and wait for the results <laughs> so what are the um the requirements we submitted so when i booked the um, ticket i also arrange um, so that pharmacy where we we can get the antigen antigen test that's a day before our flight we we got the antigen test supervised by the pharmacist so you can just go to any like clinics or any accredited um, clinics that can do supervise rapid antigen test so here we go so in New Zealand we have Unichem that's the pharmacy there that's allowed to to do the supervised antigen test so you will just fill out the form and if you after 10 to 15 minutes they will um, you will know the result and they will just put it there that you're negative and they put their stamp and signature of the one who administered the the antigen test so you just have to keep that that's your um, antigen test result and then next is the exit ticket because yeah he's British my partner so he's only allowed to be here for 30 days so you need to book an exit ticket and I just did it online through um, I think it's from Expedia or cheaper scoot because we're not gonna use it we just use it to show to the to the um, attendant that we're gonna exit but our plan is to extend it when we're here before 30 days so yeah it's better you have to just find the cheapest so I just got the um, Cebu to Singapore I, I that's the cheapest I can find and it's around 120 
dollars so in New Zealand it's a little bit high 200 dollars in New Zealand US dollar could be 125 so but there's options they said rent a ticket which which should be easy and which is also good because it's way cheaper around $15 only rent a ticket but yeah I was not sure about it but yeah I know they will just check it anyway they only check this once when we board from Auckland we have the antigen test should be negative of course this is the really risky part of your flight because we did it at just um, like 12 hours before our flight because our flight is 12 midnight and we did this test around 11 in the morning on on August 2 it was a big relief when we know that it's negative otherwise you will lose like your lots of money for your hotel quarantine and your booking I mean the ticket you have to think you can just cancel but yeah I know it's it's just costly and very stressful so we have the exit ticket and that's the confirmation from the hotel you have to go to onehealthpass.com.ph that's the official website where you can um, check which hot, um, accredited hotel you can um, have a look so so that's the website of One Health Pass and here there's a logo here you can click quarantine facility list so just click that one and you can see all the hotels in every city international airport that you can do quarantine yeah so it's very important that the hotel should be accredited and when you book you have to just um, search because yeah, it depends how much budget you've got and yeah I booked a week before and we only paid 20% of the full payment of this and the cost is 2800 per night for both of us including meals and including the airport pickup it's yeah very it's ch way cheaper than other hotels newest one I look at it it's 5,000 or more per night plus you have to add the meal costs in the big airport pickup they charge 900 pesos so yeah this one this hotel is really good it's very close to the airport it's called Dulcinea Hotel and Suites it's not new but if you talk to them just email the admin they're really friendly and they respond quickly and you can just you just ask for the one the room with the view because it's worth it it's got the view of the um, the ferries ferries around and the bridges yeah it's really nice but the hotel itself is quite run down and old but it's clean so that's all we really need anyway clean and spacious and it's got everything that we need um, yeah that's it because if you book that five-star hotel it's also really good it if you have that enough if you want to pay more it's fine but um, yeah you can't use their facilities anyway you're just inside so it it doesn't make much sense for us and this hotel is just what we really needed just to relax the bed was the bed is really nice comfy and the staff is the staff are really friendly and you can ask them to buy you things like we ask them to buy us fruits and like sim card that I need and I even asked them to buy me some new slippers. I just give them some tip like 100 pesos or 50 pesos for for yeah, just for asking them to 
buy you something you know yeah that's it for the hotel we just I paid around a six hundred sixteen thousand five hundred for I booked because I booked six nights because, yeah I wasn't sure if we will get the result straight away that's why I book, booked for six nights yes to make it safe and <clears throat> yeah that's it for the hotel just go to one health pass.com.ph and click on the quarantine list of hotels yeah and email them first and yeah just make sure that what you want <clears throat> sorry what do you want with your stay if you want if you have special requests yeah. so yeah when you pay the 20 percent they will give you the confirmation and you just have to print it out and yeah that's our itinerary <clears throat> i even printed the email from the Maktan airport but that doesn't they don't ask for that yeah that's it and the one health pass they took the, um, the printed one health pass of me so i'm just gonna show you the screenshot so you need you will get the code when you register we register three days before the flight for the unvaccinated you can do that and you just have to click under the vaccination status you just have to click the um, unvaccinated i think yeah it doesn't matter you will get the code at the end when you fill out everything you just have to make up the um, or i think you can use the address of the hotel that you quarantine for because they ask a lot of information some of them if you don't have it you can just put na yeah so yeah you screenshot the code at the end yeah don't forget to screenshot it and you print it out because that's what they really need so when we board they will only ask your passport and boarding ah yeah they will give you the boarding pass so when you arrive here in Maktan airport they will ask for the arrival arrival card and declaration form those forms you they will hand it to you when you when you board to um, from Singapore to Davao they give it to me to us when we board two forms declaration and it's still lots of information they need but yeah just just fill it up it's just for um what do you call that rec or for their record you know so yeah it was a really smooth trip and when we arrived to the airport we went to the immigration here in Maktan Cebu and the young lady um, asked our vaccination pass because she, she didn't know and then I told her we don't have it and she, she got a little bit emotional about it and she said why why you didn't get the vaccine and I, I felt really awkward what I don't know what to say and because I can talk to her in my dialect I just said um, I just don't want to have it you know something like that <laughs> it's just so awkward to answer a question like that but yeah and she just informed us about the quarantine um, that's five day quarantine and then on the sixth day if you get the result negative you can go to whenever you want so I don't know about home quarantine it doesn't matter if you're negative it's not really strict in here and yeah it's just so nonsense anyway <laughs> So just prepare 800 if you're alone solo traveler 800 pes pesos <laughs> 800 pesos for um, the swab test so on upon arrival they will do your test and on the fifth day so 1600 for one person 
so for two two of us just double it that's your um, fee that you need to pay you need to pay it cash so just make sure you have some cash with you for that and also where do you get the result of your um, swab test when you arrive you can um, get the result on the following day just go to one health pass that com that page website and you can find the logo there track your swab test and there is a code there tracking code you can ah the code that you they use anyway they put it at the back of your passport and the code um tra tracking code is just there and yeah it's the same code as your one health pass code that's your tracking code to to check the the result yeah so when you get ne um positive test on your fifth day that will be a disaster and we don't want that yeah but that if that happens you need to extend your quarantine they will take you to another hotel quarantine hotel to do to extend your quarantine which is more money and I don't know if you can handle it <laughs> it's too much to one five days is too much for me because I really like to go outside and just just go outside and live normally <laughs> Knowing that there's lots of unvaccinated here in, <laughs> in the Philippines, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. But we have to comply because we need to be here. We need to come here and that's the only way. So yeah, if you're unvaccinated foreigner, foreigner from the visa-free countries, please come over and visit the Philippines. It's not... It's not that bad <laughs> here in Cebu I think it, the mask is is not mandatory it's just um, optional it's all up to you but there's still lots of people wearing masks we're here and we're very happy and grateful that we managed to enter the Philippines <laughs> as unvaccinated yeah it is hard it's tough to deal with all these requirements and it's just ridiculous and nonsense but yeah as i said what can we do we need to comply because we want to be here so yeah that's all the requirements guys it's not that many the most important thing is your negative test so make sure that you also not you're also feeling okay not sick and no fever yeah but in the airplane you know it's really really packed it's so it's full when from Auckland to Singapore and the lady sat next to me was coughing and just coughing everywhere but it's fine I'm I got the negative test I just get over it yeah please um feel free to ask questions it's not that um hard as long as you have all your requirements and you get the negative test and you just look at the quarantine as your relaxing time <laughs> before you do all your traveling yeah it's also nice to to experience this what like you can't go anywhere for five days and they will just give you food but one tip guys if the food is not enough or you feel like you want to eat some more you can always um, buy online and they will deliver it to your room you go to grab or grab or food panda there's an app here and there's plenty of food that you if you want to eat and also this hotel before we quarantine on a day first they um, allow us to buy some something that we need we went to the supermarket yeah and yeah just 
feel free to ask the, the, the hotel staff if you need other things on your quarantine day. I wash all my dirty clothes you can wash because it's so easy to, to dry. Just wash and hang it in the bathroom. Yeah, it's not that bad and it's our fifth day and very hopeful to get out of here and explore the world. <laughs> Thanks for watching.